The question we're asking ourselves today is Barrick Gold. Is that a stock you want to buy or you want to sell? Barrick is a gold producer, and let me tell you, nobody wants to own gold. The physical gold, the shares of the producers, and Barrick is probably the second largest producer of gold in the world, maybe the largest. Very big, important company uh, with mining interests all over the United States, South America, and a big producer of gold. You can see at the, at the peaks here, the shares were trading at about $52 a share. Now, because nobody wants to own gold, it's out of favor at $7 a share. Gold is in every way depressed. It's a depressed commodity. It, nobody feels that there's any inflation in the, in the world economy, so why own a gold stock? Fool's gold in that sense. But let me give you a case for gold. Gold is intrinsically a commodity used in jewelry, used in watches used in many productions, teeth and other kind of cavity fillers and whatnot. So gold is out there. There is the second part of gold, which is a proxy for currency in times of panic, during wars, during periods of inflation. Nobody believes in inflation. So the price of gold is, has suffered. It was about $1,700, $1,800, maybe $1,600 at the peak, now down to about $1,100, even less. Cost of production at Barrick's probably about $900 a, an ounce. So they've got a little, they've got a little room there. It's, it has suffered negative cash flow. No reason in some ways at $7 a share to own gold. But I think this, I think a gold producer in everybody's portfolio at these prices could be a nice buy. You've got a well-run company. They've shed debt. They've shed some non-core assets. Gold only goes up when people think it's only going down, which is pretty much the market sentiment today. You're paying a, a very modest PE, I don't know what it is, about nine or 10 times. Price to book is even less, it's 0.9 times, which means that the book value of the company, which it was liquidated and sold for its parts, you'd be buying that at 90 cents on the dollar. So all in all, there's some bargain elements, I think, in gold production right now. Do I, do I believe there's inflation? I believe there's this inflation. If you look at the price of an apartment in London and it's $20 million, you can't tell me there's no inflation. How we track inflation, and because oil has come down, that's the reason we say, oh, there's no inflation. In times of war, in times of uncertainty, Barrick could be a nice safe haven and you're not gonna pay much to, to own it. That's all the time we have today on The Investment Advisor. I'm your host, Matthew Stevenson, in partnership with Ducas Copy TV. Remember, money can take care of you, it cannot take care of itself.